Johnny Cash, stop eating my bagel! Hello! Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today I have a thrift haul for you. Yay! <laughs> and it is quite a big haul. I have not filmed a thrift haul. I know you saw one not too long ago, but that one was pre-filmed, so I have not filmed one in a minute. So there's a lot of things to get through and we will jump right in. Let's do it. All right, first I am going to start with some clothing items. I got this super cute, kind of a, like a sage greeny skirt, kind of like a jumper skirt. I don't really know what to call it, but it has these straps, shoulder, what, suspenders? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. It is super cute. I got it for $2.50. I would say that's a pretty good deal. And I already had the perfect shirt to go with it. So go figure that. I will show it to you. It's super pretty with embroidery on and that I thrifted a few months ago, several months ago. And this just ended up matching it perfectly. So it was meant to be, I guess. <laughs> okay, next up is this a super cute ivory skirt it has really pretty i think they're called box pleats anyway pleats and it has this really pretty shiny gold thread detail at the bottom i hope that's showing up good because it's super pretty in person uh, i believe this one is 1950s possibly 60s but i think 50s because of the length so it's a little bit longer and I got this at an estate sale while I was in California. I got this one for $3. I have not tried to soak it yet. There's a little bit of staining here and there, but it's really not bad. And I think it's still totally wearable. So yeah, I was excited to find this one. Next up is this a very pretty blue, kind of 1960s looking um, dress. It might be homemade, I'm not sure. I think it looks kind of like it is, um, but it's like full length and I thought it was really pretty. I liked the color. Um, I really liked like the Peter Pan collar. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking it would be fun. You guys let me know to maybe do a little series where I do some era hopping because I'm usually pretty stuck in the 50s, sometimes go a little 40s. Um, but I rarely do 60s or 70s, so I thought it might be fun to do like a little get ready with me era hop to the 60s or 70s. So let me know what you think. But I bought this dress with that in mind and this dress was $6. So yeah, I thought it was cute. Next up is this gorgeous ivory dress with these beautiful roses embroidered on it. And it also has this a really pretty kind of bow detail right here. It's a pencil dress. Unfortunately, it is a quite small dress, so it does not fit me, but I'm sure I have a friend or two that it would fit that would love it. So I'm still glad I picked it up because it will find a home and it's so pretty. I could not leave it behind. It was $6. Next up, I have another kind of jumper skirt thing. <laughs> what is it called? Why don't I know? Anyway, and it is a gray kind of a gray wool and I thought it was really cute. I thought it would be super cute for fall and winter and it's doesn't have a label or anything. Um, I think it's modern, but it totally fits the style and yeah i thought it was really pretty so i got this one for four dollars this next one you may have seen a glimpse of if you follow me on instagram because i have already done some posts in it it is this super cute little shift dress has some really nice huge pockets on the front 
here and I don't know the design like these stripes with the really cute white daisies on reminded me of a dirndl kind of and I I don't know so I grabbed it I thought it was cute it looks really cute um, belted at the waist and that's how I've how I've worn it so um, yeah I picked this dress up for four dollars next up is this gorgeous yellow dress it's so pretty guys and this is another tiny one <sighs> i knew it looked small on the hanger but yeah it's super small <laughs> so it does not fit me but i'm sure i can find it a, a good home but i thought it was so pretty i couldn't leave it behind it's vintage 1950s um possibly early 60s has a metal zipper and everything but it's yellow and then it has this kind of chiff like chiffon, kind of a sheer material overlaid with it, the embroidered flowers. And it is just gorgeous. I'm real sad that this one doesn't fit, but I mean, what do you do? I'm sure I can find someone who will love it. And yeah, I have a problem. I just can't leave things behind. If it is true vintage, even if it's not my size, I'm like, I'm getting it, I'm saving it, and I'm going to give it to someone who will love it. Is I, does anybody else do that? I just can't. I can't be like, oh, that's true 50s vintage. Bye. No. <laughs> I can't. I have to save all the clothes. <laughs> save them from the thrift store. I mean, not like hoard them. I save them from the thrift store and I find someone who will give them another life. Next up is this vintage Hawaiian Tropicana Hawaii button-up shirt and I'm showing this with the ladies clothes because it's kind of like weirdly short so I felt like it's not gonna work for my husband I don't think so I thought that it would be cute um, to wear uh, maybe tied at the bottom like tied at the waist um, and then with some cute pants I you guys that's on my thrift list is some good like cigarette pants or capris or clam diggers like I need some good 50s pants but those are real hard to find for some reason at the thrift store for me anyway I thought this would be cute so I couldn't leave it behind it was at an estate sale and this one I I'm not positive like how much each item was because we got a whole bunch of stuff and it was all ten dollars total so I mean a fraction of ten dollar it was maybe like a dollar okay next up is this super pretty 70 I'm gonna say it's 70s does 30s just because of these awesome fluttery sleeves look at those sleeves they're so pretty so yeah like normally this isn't something I would pick up but I'm so glad I did because I tried it on and I love it it's super pretty and yeah the sleeves are great it is 70s, like I said, the tag says Candy Jones, California. So yeah, I'm going with it. I don't know, I feel like I could style this 70s or 30s. It might be a little busy, like loud, also with the sparkles <laughs> for 30s, but I don't know, you guys, I've seen some, I've seen some prints for 30s, so we'll see. But I, I really still, I like the way it looked on. And so I had to get it with $6. Next up, I was so excited because I have never thrifted one of these items in my life. And that is vintage shoes. Look how pretty they are. I'm in love with them. Super pretty brown, peep toe with this little leather fan situation on the front. Here is the heel. I They are so cute. I love them. Yeah, like I said, I've never thrifted vintage shoes before. So I was so happy to find them. They're in good condition and they're my size. Yay. And I found these for $4. Okay, last up for women's clothing. It's possibly the best thing of all this beautiful pink coat swing coat think 
Miss Marvelous Mrs. Maisel because that's what I thought when I saw it. Oh, it's so good. I love this like kind of slanty diagonal pockets. It's so, so cute. Um, it does not have a label that I can see. Just this kind of rough looking tag right there, but um, it looks like remnants of the Ladies Garment Union tag. Anyway, yeah, this coat is amazing. It's total Marvelous Mrs. Maisel vibes. It has the huge pink buttons. So now all I need is a pink hat to go with it. So I'm putting it out there into the universe. I need to find a pink hat to go with my awesome pink coat. So yeah, I was so excited when I found this. I found this at that same estate sale as the Hawaiian shirt. So it was part of the lump $10. Okay, well let's look at some men's items I found this month. First up are some ties. And I got this awesome green. Um, it has like super dapper couple on it. We found this one at an estate sale. I believe it's 70s, it's polyester, but I thought the image on it was really cool. So we went with it. And also from that same estate sale is uh, this one, which I do believe is 50s. It says the, the Caribbean tie. So yeah, both of these ties came from that, that estate sale where I got the pink coat. So we got this, the pink coat, the sheet music, a, a few other things all in there for $10. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, next up is another tie. This one um, doesn't have a label, but I believe it is probably 50s or 60s. Found this tie for $1. Next up is this amazing clip-on tie with an awesome Egyptian print. Look how cool that is. The label says fashion craft. I believe it is a 70s tie, but it's very has a very 40s look to me with the like the wide tie and then just the image on it. I thought it was so cool. So we had to get that and it was $2. Next up is another 40s tie. Well, this one's really 40s, not not uh, 70s does 40s. Uh, it is this beautiful flower and butterfly print. It is a little bit stained right here, but I don't feel like it's really even noticeable with the pattern and, and the colors the way they are. So I got it anyway. It was only $2. Last up for ties is this one. It is super cute 1940s candy print. And if you know my husband at all, you know, he has a giant sweet tooth. So I had to get him this tie. I thought it was so cute. And it wasn't super thrift prices. I got it on Instagram from a seller on Instagram, um, but it was reduced. So I got it for $20. Last up for menswear is this awesome blue silk shirt. This one is Van Heusen. Super silk. I think it is 70s. I like the collar, um, but it is silk, which is cool, and it's a good color. So we went with it. This shirt was five dollars. Okay, that was it for the clothes. And I know that there was kind of a lot, but I hope you're still with me because we're moving on to the non-clothing items. So first up for non-clothing items is this huge lot of seam binding tape, bias tape, binding tape, whatever you wanna call it, tapes and trims it says, but it's all um, vintage, it's all brand new, and there's some super pretty colors. So yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm set on my seam binding situations, we're good. I've got this, <laughs> but yeah, these were the smaller packages were two dollars, and then this bigger package was three dollars. Next up is this a piece of vintage sheet music. 
It is James Stewart and Doris Day, the man who knew too much. Whatever will be, will be. So yeah, I thought this was really fun and also awesome picture on the front of it. Super cute, it can go on my piano. And yeah, I got this at that same estate sale in my bundle of things for $10. So yeah. Okay, next up, somewhat random, but very cool, 1962 Kendall. I found him for $1.50. Can you believe that? And he has his original clothes on. So that's good. But yeah, even his shirt has a really cool tag. I'll try to show you guys. It says Ken by Mattel. Very cool, huh? Now I need a Barbie because he can't just be all alone, right? I need to find 1960s Barbie to go with him. But yeah, I don't. I know it's kind of random. I don't collect Barbie dolls or dolls in general. But when you see him on the shelf and you know he's awesome, you can't just let him lay there, like to get thrown in bin. Like you gotta, gotta save him. So, yeah, maybe I can find a '60s Barbie at some point, and then they can be displayed together. Next up is this awesome pink closet made quilted top clothing bag and you can see hopefully you can see on the front picture here there's a whole set and I would love to have the whole set because there's an awesome uh, shoe bag and like a zipper storage thing for looks like for linens and then there's these different sizes of the hanging bags and I haven't gotten this one out um, to see which so it says this package contains a jumbo garment bag. So that's this one, which is cool. So yeah, it's like, it's new old stock. It's never been opened. And yeah, I really would love to find its partners because that would not be so cute to have the whole set in my closet. Yeah, that's what I think too. And this little baby was $3. Okay, we're taking a bit of a left turn here because this is not vintage but I think there's a crossover audience for this at least for me there is because one of my favorite movies is Back to the Future surprise so yeah I had to get this Mr. Fusion car charger look how cool it is Basically, you stick it in your cup holder. I'll show you the picture on the back. You stick it in your cup holder, and then you plug it in, plugs into the lighter, and then there's two USB ports. So you can charge your phone with the Mr. Fusion. <laughs> I thought it was so cool. So yeah, also, if you know my white kitty, Dr. Emmett Brown, another hint as to why, <laughs> as to the fact that this is my favorite movie. Okay, next up is this amber stretched glass base. Pretty. I don't know why all the amber glass finds me, but it does. So apparently I collect amber glass now because I keep finding it everywhere. This vase was not in the collectibles case, as you may think at the thrift store. It was on the regular shelf with the regular old vases and it was only $1.50. So score, yay. <laughs> so it's also been a great month-ish, two months, for Pyrex at the thrift store. So I got some of that to show you. Okay, I know this isn't Pyrex, but it is Fire King and very collectible in its own right. So I picked up this really pretty blue flowery Fire King dish and it was $2. Next up for Pyrex, this might be my favorite Pyrex I found over the past couple of months. The entire set of, I think this is called the Daisy Print. Gosh, you guys, I really need to learn my Pyrex names because I don't know what they're all called, like the actual names of them. And I really need to get better about that. But look, all three bowls. They were all together as a set, and it was 
Okay, next up for kitchen-ish items is this really cute little Corningware pitcher, coffee pot, something. And I have, I have a Pyrex one actually that's a little bit bigger than this and it has the Starburst on. Um, but I saw this one and I thought it was really cute. I really like the handle. So I decided to grab it and it was $3. Okay, next up, another set of two bowls. It is this amazing Bell Manufacturing um, dish. I don't know, bowl. I don't know what to put in it, but I couldn't leave them behind because they are cute. They're turquoise and gold, and I liked them. <laughs> These were $2 each, and I will show you the bottom because, yeah, Bell Manufacturing. USA is not California pottery, but it's still it's like along the same lines as that So yeah, I'll show you the bottom. Okay, and there you can see Bell manufacturing and There I looked it up and there are other pieces to this set There are there is like a candy tray layered like a candy tray thing with the holder and there's a flat candy tray, like a divided dish looking one. So I'm on the lookout for the rest of the set because you can't just have one piece of the set, right? Okay, I had mentioned the California pottery and I found some. This, a beautiful Lazy Susan divided dishes. Look how pretty it is, oh my gosh, I love it. So I love, love the red, and it's kind of like tan goldish colored. And here is the stamp, California, USA. So cool. So oftentimes I find these dishes and it's just pieces of them, or it's maybe the whole thing, but not with the Lazy Susan. So I was super excited that this one had the Lazy Susan with it. And I found this at a yard sale for $3. Next up are these beautiful pink candy dishes. They are so cute and they're pink, which is one of my favorite things. <laughs> Though they are leaf shaped, they're not California, but it does say made in the USA. So I believe it is very similar and definitely of the era. So yeah, I snagged these at the same estate sale where I got that um, skirt, the ivory with gold striped skirt, and I got these for $4. Also at that same estate sale, I found these super pretty chenille bath towels. It is the set, it is the big towel, the hand towel, and the washcloth. And I was super excited to find these because they perfectly match my pink bathroom. So yeah, these are going in there. I still have to wash them, but yeah, I thought they were really pretty. I got this set of towels for $3. Okay, next. This may be my very favorite thrift find of the thrift haul. It is this amazing pink and cream California Pottery Lazy Susan. Just feast your eyes. I love it. So good. So amazing. Here is the stamp. California, USA. And yeah, this one my husband actually found. Sometimes we go to the thrift store, we kind of divide and conquer. So like I will look at the dresses and the clothes and he'll go around and look kind of at the outdoor stuff and he came back with this in the cart and I was like, you win, sir, because this is amazing. <laughs> I was so excited. So yeah, it has the Lazy Susan. All of the pieces, mint condition, is not chipped, is not damaged in any way. Best ever, three bucks. This might be... Like I said, my favorite item of the thrift haul. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know below, what's your favorite one? Eek. Okay, friends, we have reached the end. You've made it 
I've almost made it. We're doing this. So last item of the haul is this. Super cute blow mold Santa. Look at him. He's so good. I love it. So cute. He's in great shape. Uh, he still is all wired and everything. He has this light in there. We have not plugged it in to see if it works or not, but either way, I'm sure we can fix it up and it'll be awesome. So he's going to go in the yard for Christmas. We found him for $8. Woo! We made it, folks. You made it. I made it. If you're still here, comment below. Tell me what was your favorite item of the thrift haul. It's a toss up for me, I can't decide. I love that pink and white Lazy Susan so much, but I also love the pink swing coat so much. So I don't know, it's a toss up for me. I think we can see a theme going here. Yeah, I like pink. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, thanks so much for being here. If you have not subscribed already, go ahead and do so. We have a lot of vintage fun around here. I do thrift hauls, obviously. I do hair and makeup tutorials. I also have a new series that is all about testing out my vintage gadgets. And I have another one of those videos coming up very soon. So if you're gonna wanna be here for that, so go ahead and subscribe. Like this video if you liked it and enjoyed the haul. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.